Hello, welcome back to Westminster, where the big question is, is Theresa May's time as Prime Minister about to come to an end? At the end of a dramatic week in which her draft Brexit agreement with the EU has been panned by both Brexiteers and Remainers alike, it now appears that the Conservative MPs are poised to try to unseat her. Sky sources say all the Tory whips have been recalled to London, with the prospect of a vote of no confidence in the Prime Minister now likely. So what has prompted this political crisis? Well, Theresa May's draft Brexit agreement with the EU. Well, why is it proving so controversial? On the customs union, from next March, when we officially leave the EU, the UK will be a single customs territory until the end of the transition period in December 2020. If a new deal is not agreed by then, the UK will remain in the EU customs union indefinitely. And if that happens, the Northern Ireland backstop kicks in. It states that Northern Ireland will be part of the same customs territory as the UK and the EU. On immigration, EU nationals who've lived in in the UK for five consecutive years will have the right to stay permanently. But the UK will not be obliged to give student grants or loans to non-permanent residents. The agreement ends free movement but states that visa-free travel to EU countries will continue. And on fishing, the UK will become an independent coastal state but will work with the EU on fishing rights. Joining me now is Will Dry, the co-founder of the anti-Brexit youth movement, Our Future, Our Choice. Also joining us is Robert Olds, the director of Eurosceptic think tank Bruges Group. Hello uh, to you both. So, two nights ago, the Prime Minister presented her deal. They published that 585-page document. The Cabinet agreed to it. And then we've had the fallout uh, from it. What is wrong, Will, in your mind? What's wrong is that she's presented a deal which is so deeply underwhelming to people who voted Leave, like myself, and also people who voted Remain. You know, in an odd way, Theresa May has united the country. You know, Tory Remainers are resigning. Tory Brexiteers are up in arms. Tory Scots hate the deal. The SNP hate the deal. The Northern Irish think it's not very good either. And Labour, obviously, this deal fails every single one of Labour's six tests. So, in some odd way, everybody agreed that this deal is not good enough for our futures, and that is why ultimately there is no choice now, given how underwhelming the deal is, but to put the deal back to the British people and let them say whether or not they want to proceed with Brexit on the terms which it actually is going to be delivered on. So you want a second referendum? I want a people's vote. I want the people to have a say on whether or not this deal is good enough for their future. In 2016, I voted to leave. I voted to leave because I thought we'd get a better NHS. A record number of EU nurses and doctors have left this country. I voted to leave because I thought we could save money. But we're giving away 39, 50 billion for nothing. I voted for more trade deals. This, this deal now prevents meaningful trade deals. And I voted to take back control, but we're handing over control more than ever before. So you voted to leave and you've changed your mind well, in, a, in, a, in a big way. As have um, 2.7 million Leave voters, by the way. Robert Olds, is that the direction we're heading in? Well, the direction we're heading in is this deal will not go through. It's been panned by all sides of the House of Commons and, as Will said, by the major political parties in the UK, the SNP, the, the DUP. There is just no parliamentary arithmetic to get this through. It's a dead deal. It's not going ahead. We don't have to worry about it. Parliament will vote it down, presuming even that it gets to Parliament, presuming Theresa May is not removed beforehand. I hope it does get to Parliament and gets rubbished as it deserves to be because it's a complete betrayal of what people voted for. It is also a complete betrayal of the general election commitments made by 80% of MPs in their manifesto commitments to leave the European Union, not only leave the European, but also leave the single market and the customs union. This has the biggest mandate in British political history, not only the referendum saying we should leave the European Union, but also Parliament voting to take us out of the European Union and the general election with MPs elected with a mandate to take us out. Do you think this deal has a mandate? This deal, this deal, this deal, so will not, this, deal this deal will not get through, Will. It has been garbage. You yourself has admitted that. It has no mandate because Theresa May has cooked it up with civil servants behind her own cabinet's back. Not only behind her own MPs, but behind the cabinet as well. But and she has got collective cabinet agreement on this deal. And we had Liam Fox, and we know his position. We had Liam Fox coming out today to say he's staying put, he's going to back this, he's going to try and deliver this, because he said you have to think what in a real negotiation it is possible to achieve. Being realistic, uh, knowing what the position of the EU is, that didn't want to, the Prime Minister to have her cake and eat it, is this the best that could have been achieved? 
the best that can be achieved is that we come out of the European Union and reclaim our own affairs. How? The, the power, that's not well, a plan. That's not a plan. The problem that is, that is the, 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 the plan that, that we no have come out of the European Union and start is. making our own laws. Excuse but, me, Will. Excuse me, Will. The God. question was addressed to me. Okay. So you could just hold on a moment and wait politely I'm until you're asked to speak. The plan is, is that we come out of the European Union as people voted for and as was made clear in the referendum that leaving the EU would mean leaving the single market and the customs union. Both sides said that. The government produced a booklet saying that. That's but it's not just about us, is it? We've got to get the agreement of the European Union here. Well, no, look, the, the issue is that people like Robert, people like Jacob Rees-Mogg, people like... Uh, Boris Johnson and David Davis. The majority that voted They to leave. do not have... Well, I voted to leave. I'm not part of that majority. But they do not have any ideas of where we go from here. The only plan that they presented, which Jacob Rees-Mogg has presented, still involves us handing over £20 billion and would involve stockpiling food, which the government has admitted it's already doing, stockpiling medicines, which the government has admitted it's already doing, and an economic car crash, which, frankly, my generation do not deserve, nor does any the, other generation the in this country. economic car crash, so which, we were, which we were look, threatened people, with, where unemployment is now at record lows. Now you're talking about it. Is, look, well, you need to stick to facts. Where's what? this economic car crash well, I said when if wages get, have now exceeded inflation? Let, let, Where's this finish, project please. fear that you're now predicting? I, I, it never came to pass. Robert, I said Let's get with reality and stick with facts, and then I'll gladly let you speak. Thank you. Robert, I merely said that if we go ahead with no deal and we crash out on the 29th of March, you know, people will suffer. And it's not you who will suffer. It's not the head of the Bruges group who will suffer. It's people all around the country who will be losing their jobs. And frankly, I think Come that on. is a disgrace. No, you know what? Hang why, on. Is, people, why is foreign direct I really investment think it's a double the level people of can, European Union Robert, states? Why is that growth higher Robert, than the Robert, Eurozone? People if we're about wallow, to crash out, people, this is not reality. You're, this is just not so, reality. So you don't think that if this deal fails to get through Parliament, and the Prime Minister uh, said that she says it's, it's her deal, no deal, or no Brexit at all. So where do you the think The European we're Union has signed up to keep trade open to third countries and to neighbouring countries. They've signed up to the Trade Facilitation Agreement. They've signed up to provisions of GATT and the WTO. There's the United Nations Economic Commission. So you want to see a no deal? I don't want this deal. I don't mind a deal that comes to... Would you to prefer the... no deal to no this deal? No deal is considerably better than this deal, which is vassal state. And it's the only option because, quite simply, we will be leaving the European Union on the 29th of March at 11pm, unless there's some kind of parliamentary chicanery to prevent that. And there is simply no time for a referendum. Campaign groups that say we should have a second referendum, like Will's organisation, are giving a false prospectus. There is just not the time. What about the legislation the chaos that is very Will has very no, clearly no, described about a no-deal scenario? It's absolute fantasy. Why is foreign direct investment in the UK at record levels? Why is our growth above that of the Eurozone? Because Project Fear is a myth. It is a, it is a scare story to try and tell the people that they're, that they're ignorant and they don't know what they were voting for. Project that is Fear not being rerun here, Will. People can wallow in delusions and fantasies that convince people like me in 2016. Project or fear is the or we can engage with what is actually on the table. I genuinely believe that Theresa May has negotiated the best Brexit deal that is possible, but it is still deeply underwhelming to the entire country. And frankly, I think people who are now running away from their own responsibilities, like Boris, like David Davis and like Robert, who are championing this, championing this, are merely trying to save their own reputation. And it's not their livelihoods, we it's not their families, hang on, no, 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 so it's not their the families at stake, it is not their jobs at stake. What they're doing is disgraceful, frankly, to the British people who, you know, my parents voted to leave, I voted to leave. Nobody thinks that this deal uh, matches the promises that were made in 2016. So let's so vote it, is, it down. Let's no, leave the European Union should, as, the was public promised, should vote as was it down. promised. The public should vote it down. And then we should have an honest choice between the two actual plans. It would take a Theresa year May's to have deal. a referendum. This guy doesn't stop talking. Plan? It would What's take a year to have a referendum. Plan? The alternative plan you. is a people's vote where we decide between Theresa May's deal, which we can actually do, or... Our current deal, membership of the European Union, which is better on every single level. I'm merely going to ask MPs one question. Can they you look their constituents in the eye and genuinely say that this deal Theresa May has negotiated will, give, will leave them better off? I don't think they can. And that's why I think the public should have the right to vote on this deal. Oh, are we better off, then, in a no-deal scenario than we currently are, Robert? Absolutely, yes. We can, we can make our own laws. We can reach out to the rest of the world and trade globally and have our own democracy. If we stay with this agreement or in the European Union, we'll be allow allowing others to set the rules. But there will not be a second referendum. This is, again, a false prospectus. The legislation is quite clear. They don't even know what question they want to ask. I do. 
They, I they, think we should have a vote between Theresa May's bill and our current Parliament bill hasn't even the decided. Union. There's not a majority in Parliament I think there will for a second be. referendum. There, will be there needs to be consultation. To you if you knew the, all the procedures that went that need to be go through to get another vote, they would be How at least this? a An year amendment away. Which says, should we have a people's vote and 325 votes for it? Which, by the way, I think is highly likely to happen. And, but by the time you have another referendum, we'd have been out the European Union for nearly a year. You are giving a false perspective. You need to move on. You need to move on. You need to move on are, and recognise we're leaving the European Union and work on getting another deal, <laughs> rather than having okay. a false vote to try and keep us in, which will not be delivered. We're just trying to discredit those who voted leave in 2016 and those MPs who were I'm elected 80% of members of Parliament who okay. were elected on the <laughs> promise to take us out of the EU. So let's just get on with it, as most of the public want. He's losing. Uh uh, you say most of the public want, but uh, I have to say, according to Sky Data uh, polling this week, there has been a shift, and there is a majority now saying they don't want to see it. And well, they want, they want a people's vote. Professor Curtis, the leading expert on polling, actually says there is no evidence to suggest that. There are polls that suggest that there's support for staying in the European Union, and there's other polls that suggest the opposite. There's support for leaving the European Union. So, really, there is no clear evidence to suggest there's been a major shift. Well, and so what we need to do is just get on with the job that MPs were is elected to do. Is that what Theresa do. May is not trying to do? Theresa May is a committed Remainer and before the referendum she made it clear that any negotiations with the European Union would lead to a scenario where Britain is a rule taker. She's delivered exactly what she said she would deliver before the actual referendum took place. She does not believe in an independent UK and that's the reason why She's a long, long person so to take us forward in the long job, run. All right. they do, all they do is blame other people. They blame the Prime Minister. Do you think the she's Prime the right Minister person to deliver Brexit? I think the Prime Minister has done her absolute best at delivering the best Brexit deal for this country. She knows, as do her Cabinet, as does most of Parliament, that this deal is far, far worse than what we've currently got. And that's what the people are waking up to. And that's why you see in the Sky News polls, you see in every single other poll, that people want to have a vote on this deal. And they don't want Parliament to just let it go through. OK. Uh, something tells me this debate is going to uh, rage on, but for now, we'll try. Uh, Robert Olds, thank you both very much indeed for your time here in Westminster. We will